Hey, it's Patty Sampson here, and today we're going to talk about how to get video email sent without using BombBomb inside your KV Core CRM. So let's uh, go check it out. Are you fed up with your 9 to 5 working for someone else? Has the pandemic caused you to rethink your job, your business, and how you currently are earning money? Have you ever thought about what it would be like to start your own online business and take charge of your income and schedule, but you have no idea where to start? My name is Patty Sampson, and these are the same questions I've asked myself. Let me share with you how I switched gears from working for someone else to becoming a successful entrepreneur working from home. If you're ready to change your life, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell for upcoming free videos. Now let's get ready to dive into today's lesson. Okay, so here's an example of a video email that I might send out. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the video really quickly, how to create a template inside of your KV Core CRM, and then how to uh, import the video basically into a spot that actually they can see it. And they can also get to your website that way too, which is kind of cool. So let's go check this out. So the first thing we have to do is create the video and have it ready. So I, this is a video I did in another software, but I'm actually going to use Canva and show you how quick and easy this is. Now that Canva has really updated some of the amazing things it can do in here. You want to see how this works. So I'm going to go over to Canva right now and let's show you how fast I can build a video in there. So Canva, which you probably want to get a pro version. I always tell people there are major things you should be paying for. One of them is Canva and another one is Zapier <laughs> and also a CRM. Uh, but let's talk about Canva because this is where I'm going to show you how fast you can make this video. So I'm going to show you uh, a tool that's in the software now that you can use to create this very, very quickly. And I'm just going to show you what this one looked like. I literally built this video in here in probably less than five minutes if if I even took that amount of time. It's only because I spent some time looking at the videos in here. But um so it's it's just gonna basically run and you can do obviously any holiday or anything you want to promote. Um but literally it took me about five minutes to build this. So I'm just showing it to you. And I can put music to it and everything. I'm not uh if I have it on you can't hear it. But so you can put whatever you want on the screen. And then you put your branding in here. Okay. So I'm going to close this out and show you how I did this. I'm going to start from scratch. Let me, I got to find my a spot for me to put myself here. I'll just go over here. Okay. So let's start from scratch. I'm going to go back to the home screen and I'm going to run a search up in when you get into Canva. And again, I believe you need the pro version. You're going to type in YouTube right here at design anything. And when you do, you're going to see YouTube video. E you could go YouTube video or YouTube video ad. I'm going to suggest you do YouTube video ad. Okay. So I'm going to click on YouTube video ad. And you've got these because they're short and sweet. You really don't want this really long. You're just going to send a quick little message over to your uh, database or whoever you want to get this. And so in this case, I actually picked out this particular one because I liked the black background for me to get started. Uh, you certainly can come in and edit the backgrounds though too if you want to. So let me go down and see if I can find another one that might work, uh, that, that I might at a glance kind of like the way it, it's laid out. And you can just kind of hover over it and it'll pull up, um, you know, kind of uh, an idea of what the particular video looks like if you hover over. So that's why I picked that one. Uh, so let me see if I can find a good one here that we might want to start with. Let's see what this one looks like. I kind of like this, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, this one's kind of fun. Let's go ahead and choose this one this time. And what we're going to do is replace out all of the content here very quickly and fast. So the first thing is, is these are videos that are running back here. And this is text. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of how to use Canva right now, but it's so easy. It's, it's like close your eyes and do it in your sleep. So, uh, because I said I was going to do this quick, I'm going to show you how I did it. So I'm going to go here. There's a video here of a steak burning or something, and I'm going to cut it out. I also think I might change the color of the background here. If I click on the background, I can pick out an orange color that might be more, uh, that might be better for the holiday. 
And you can also change the color of the text too. So maybe I'll go and change the color of the text to orange. Now I got black and orange, very easy. Now I'm gonna go over to the video. So you see over here on the left, go to video. And what I want you to do is type in Halloween. And you're gonna come up with a whole bunch of different Halloween videos here. So depending on what you like, then you're gonna pick. So I'm gonna pick this one to get started. See how cool that is? But I want it to be in the background. I don't want it, I want it to load up in the back. So I'm gonna actually stretch this out just a little bit and it is a little too wide. So I'm gonna position this and when you position it, I can send it back and I can send it back. So it's behind here. See how that worked? And now it's behind here and I can run it. So I'm gonna finish doing what I'm doing before I run it. So that it's running back there, but I, I threw it in the back. And depending on how many layers you have here, you might need to go back and back a couple times with it so that it gets behind all of this other content. So here I might go, um, happy Halloween. I can cut out Halloween, right? And uh, we'll start there. Okay, so then we're gonna move to the next screen. Look at that. Now I gotta put something else here and get rid of that steak again. So I'm gonna click out the steak and I'm gonna put the orange Let's see if we can get the orange back in here. I'm gonna just keep using the orange in the background. Let's see if I can get the orange to pull up. Hello, orange. I'm trying to change that. Oh, so in this case it's yellow, so I wanna to switch to orange there. Well, I guess this one isn't gonna change because it might be part of this. So let's find another Halloween video and see. We'll put another one that might be cute. I'm gonna to try to stay away from the spooky, scary stuff because people might get offended by that. Um, let's see what else is here. Here's one of some people partying. And uh, we'll put that in here. And I'm gonna make it just, I'm gonna kind of frame it in here. Now, again, I wanna position this, position backward, backward. And so now the video is in this space right here, right, and it's backwards. Now I'm gonna go um, time to party it up, right? Just because I see them partying. Um, and I could say something about witches or something here too. All right, cool. Let's go down to the next screen. Again, let's get rid of that steak and let's find another one we might want to add. In this case, I love this one. Well, let's add this one. This one was kind of neat. And if I want to make it smaller, I can just grab it and go this way with it. And then um, I, can, I st can still position it in the back because I think there might still be something. There we go. See how it did that? Uh, I could if I want to do that. I actually don't think I love that. So I'm gonna position it forward and leave it square. And um, let's see, I'm gonna put on here, don't eat too much candy. And <laughs> okay, next screen, here we go. Orange, I, I'm, I'm gonna change this back to that orange color. Okay, and let's get rid of that video back there and add another one in, whoops. I got rid of, you have to be sure when you're clicking on it, you're clicking on the area that you want to delete. So I'm going to delete, I had to get out here a little bit further. Let's delete that. And now because of where this is at, I could drag this this way a little bit. I'm, I'm going to come back to that in a minute. And I could put the video here. So let's find one that might be something on the left side of the screen. That might be kind of fun. There's a lot of, uh, let's see, what does this one look like? There's cookies. There's, yeah. Let's put that on there, it's kind of cute. And you can make it bigger and you can actually pull it, slide it up this way and slide it down this way. And then I wanna position it in the back again, back, back. So they're really only seeing about this much, okay? In this spot, honestly, I think what I'm gonna do is put in my um, logo for my company here, okay? So I'm gonna, I've already uploaded my logo already. So once you get your uploads in, I'm not going to do that, but you're just going to go here to upload media. So there is my logo and I could make it any size I want. And then right here, I might say something from your uh, favorite. Let's see, my mouse is in the way. And I might say something like from your favorite, uh, from your favorite local realtor. Favorite, oh, I can't see it. Local real estate specialists. Since I have a team and I don't like the color of this print, so I'm actually gonna change it and go to white or black. Let's go black. Since it's Halloween, we'll go black. And I can make that a little bit bigger so they can see it. Drag this down a little, make this fit this in here. Now they know how to get me, get to me if they need to, right? All right, cool. So now that I got it, this is done. <laughs> How fast was that? Let's play it. I'm going to go up here and start from the beginning and show you what it looks like now. Let me get me out of the way. I guess I'm out of the way. Uh -uh. 
So it's going to take a second for it to render. And then if I wanted to, I could put music on this and I probably will before I do all this. Um, so let's let it run. Think how many minutes, uh, minutes it was. So it's, it's running through the pages here and it should run. There it goes. And you may be able to actually change the timing of each one of these screens. I didn't do that, but you, I think you could. Let's see what happens. So it might be a little long once it's all said and done. And that's the thing. I mean, you should be able to come in and edit all this stuff up. So, cause I hadn't used this template before. I don't really know what this whole thing was supposed to do. So let's see. Yeah. I think this is just a tad long. So hopefully we can get it to run. Okay. So it was running. It just occurred to me it was running about a minute and a half long. So when you're picking your video out, which I didn't even look, make sure that you check to see how long it is. So I didn't like that. So I took out the girls with the witches. I just, I just dumped the page into the trash can right here. I just took it out. So I didn't like that. So I'm going to go back and now let's see what it plays. It should be about 34 seconds long instead of a minute and whatever. I, I, that would have been a little bit too long for a video that I would want to send for a holiday like this. So let's see what happens. And I don't think what I can see is how to edit the timing of each screen. So you have to decide, you know, what's, what, what is it going to work? Is it going to work for you? So just make sure before you pick the template that it has the timing on it that you'll like. Look how cute this ended up being. And I literally built this in less, well, I don't even think it was five minutes. So, which is kind of cool. So that's done. All right. So now what we need to do is we're going to download this video so we get a version of it that we can import into YouTube. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get this downloaded right now and then I'm going to import it to YouTube. So I'll show you here in a minute how to do that. Before I do this though, I do want to change the name of this. So I'm going to go happy hot. So up here, you want to come up to the version of this when you get back into the editing area and just type in happy Halloween. Um, Halloween for video email. And then now you've got it. Now you can click the download button. And when you do, you'll want to pick out uh, MP4. Alrighty. So now um, I have downloaded the video and what I'm going to do now is go into my YouTube account. So you probably have a YouTube account for your real estate business. If you don't, you should have it. This does not necessarily need to be listed if you don't want it to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my consulting area because I'm going to use it as an example for um, letting people know how to do this, but definitely want to have somewhere to put it. So go make, if you don't have a YouTube channel, make sure you get one created because you're going to need it uh, for the next steps that we're going to do. So we're going to go to go ahead and, and do that. I'm not going to sit here and have you watch this all import. It take too long. So I'm going to cut away and come back after it's done. So I just want to be sure before we do it that you know that we are going to be downloading the MP4 version of this so that it turns into a video and we want all three pages to come with it and we want to make sure it is the actual video part of it. So it's the whole thing's a video. Um, so let's go ahead and go download and it will get downloaded and then you'll just pull it out of your download file because it's going to head into your downloads. Okie dokie. So I've now um, imported the video and it is in here now. And I did want to show you really quickly. I did add some sound to it before I did the import. So let me go back really quick and show you how I did that. I just went over to the music and I ran a search for spooky. <laughs> and, and then what I did was I just picked out one that I wanted to throw on here. And when you do it, you just double click and it'll load up stuff here. And if you want it, if you don't like where it's starting, because it might be kind of quiet. I'm not sure if you can even hear that, but it might be kind of quiet and, or it might be not at the right spot. You can just take it and drag it around and, um, drag the sound. Uh, let me get back to that. You can drag the sound uh, around so that it fits in there the, where you want it to go. And then I did the download. Okay. And so once I did the download, I brought it over into YouTube and, um, imported it here. Now I do want to add a thumbnail that because when it shows up in the video area, you, there's a couple ways I'm going to show you how to video out of your KV core account. So the first one is going to actually send them here and we want to have a decent, um, a decent, uh, video cover for it. So this isn't actually bad. This is already pre-built to that, but if I wanted to, I could say, Oh, I'd rather have that one. Or I could say that one, or I could pick another one. I could upload one. 
So just make sure you know that it looks good. If I like that one, I'm going to switch to that one and then you're going to save. I've also, in this case, made it unlisted uh, because it doesn't really say much right now at this moment. And so I'm just going to, if I was going to make it listed, I would be adding stuff here about, you know, happy Halloween from your favorite real estate agent or something like that. But um, in this case, I'm just not going to put anything here right now because I just want to hit save on this and get it done so that I've got a link. Okay, so we're going to grab the um, the uh, link here. And so all you're going to do is just um, go to copy video link. And again, I left this unlisted. Uh, so this should work just fine. Now we're going to go over to KV Core and let's, so let's head over there and see what I got going here. Now where I'm at inside of KV Core is you want to make sure that you're inside of your website area. You're going to be logging into your main account and you're going to head over to um, your uh, marketing and autopilot area. When you get there, get logged into your website area and then you're going to go start a campaign. And then you're going to, I'm trying to drag myself around. I like to be on the screen, but it kind of gets in the way sometimes. <laughs> and then you're going to go to templates right here. You got to get it one template you're going to build. And you're going to go to add a template right here. Email template. And this is where it's so key. You want to go advanced editor. And yes, switch over to your advanced editor. Alrighty. All right, so now we're in the advanced editor. So we're going to write up a template that's going to be Happy Halloween related. So let's just go ahead and call this Happy Halloween uh, video email number one. Because in my world, what I'd be doing is probably building four or five of these, and I would create a campaign, um, and then I would send it out so that we'd, I would have enough to send every year. Um, inside of KV Core, unfortunately, you can't build a template campaign that will put all of your holiday videos into one because they don't provide you an opportunity to schedule based on date. So that's kind of a pain. I, I This is how I built it in my own CRM. But um, you can have all the templates available. So I'm going to put video email one because eventually I want to have others to send so I can rotate them, change them every year if you're going to stay in it. So then we're going to put a subject line in here and I'm just going to put happy Halloween for right now. Uh, and I will probably end up putting their first name in here, but I'll show you what, I'm gonna, what I want to do. So I'll just type happy Halloween for the subject. So we're going to go over here. This, if you've never been in the advanced editor, it's pretty cool because you can add, first thing you want to do is add some rows and add the rows. So let's add, the first row is actually already here. So I'm not going to put that. What I'm going to do though is add one that's got a little bit this is where I want the video to go right in this area and then I'm going to add another one last row for the signature area so I can say something so I want to have some content here then I'm going to put the video and then I'm going to add some content to say goodbye so I'm going to go to the content uh, click click the content and then we're going to add a text block in here so we can type a letter to these folks and so what we want to do is um, type in Hi, you know what? I actually have a, yeah, I already have content for this. Let me go over to that email. I'm going to just grab it out of that email that I was just showing you so I don't have to reinvent this wheel. So I'm going to grab this and copy it because it's just way easier. And if you can type your templates up ahead of time, it makes your life way easier. Trust me, it'll make it way easier because you're not reinventing wheels. Now I got to do is paste it in. And if you don't like the size of the template or the print, you can change it. I'm just going to go to this. And here is the other thing to note. This is a template that you want to send to everybody. So you never want to put anybody's personal information here. So I'm going to delete my name out and put in the merge tag for the first name here. Now the other thing now that I have this is I'm going to grab a copy of that. Whoops, I lost my thing. And I'm actually going to plug it up into the subject line. So it's going to say Happy Halloween, their first name, right? So now that'll pull in, that should anyway. And then I'm going to go back here and get that on. Now I can leave this in. I can also change the color of the text like I did with the other one if I want to. So let's go pick out a text color that I might want to call, go with. There's an orange, right? So you can put whatever the heck you want in here. Now, if we're going to send them straight over to the video, I'm going to go back to the content blocks and I'm going down to the video right here and I'm going to drag it over here. Now the video will be inside of this. 
I'm not going to put anything in either one of these. So it says add the video URL. Well, we need to go grab that URL. If you didn't already, you're back over your video and you're going to go video URL right here. And you're going to go back over to your KV Core template. Oops, I mean, that's my other way I was going to show you. Uh, where am I at? KV Core template. And we had to add the video URL. So when you click here, you're going to go here and put the video URL there. So this is why it's so important that you have your thumbnail because if the thumbnail looks goofy, you're either going to need to upload one or pick one out that they've provided you. And unfortunately, they decide what they're doing in YouTube. So it's kind of a pain. But if you don't, if none of these are very nice, then you can do an upload of a thumbnail, which you just would need to take a screenshot of this. And then it, you can, you can, uh, what I would do is look at the video and take a screenshot of it. Stop it, take a screenshot of it in the worst case scenario. So if it's not looking like you want it to look, see how that is. Um, let me actually get this a little bit bigger. Okay. All right, cool. Now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to add another content block of text so that I can say goodbye. Okay, so we're going to add the A agent signature here, and you've already got it set up somewhere in your system. I'm not going to actually show you where to do that, but you need to get it set up. And once it's set up, you can just add it by going to the merge tags and go down to agent signature right here. And so it should pull in whatever you set up in here initially. Now, if you don't like it this skinny, now I want to make sure you're clear that when you're looking at this, it's kind of thin. You can go over to the settings right here and you can adjust how wide or not wide. This is why I kind of li I like mine a little bit wider. And this is what it's going to look like when it goes into the inbox of your you of your consumer. So I would go to the settings here and make it a little wider so it's prettier. <laughs> Uh, the other thing that you, you have the option to do is actually change up the background color too. So if you wanted this one to be extra spooky, you could change the whole background and go black or something like that. Um, I, I'm not a big fan necessarily of doing that, but here's the background color. I would just leave it white for right now. And uh, obviously any of the other stuff you want to edit up. But right now I don't want to get into all that, that fanciness. We did enough for this. So let's go and see and show you what's going to happen now. Um, we're going to uh, go ahead and update. Well, I already saved it once, so I'm going to go and update the template. And now the template is in your, in your area here. So if you want to send it to somebody or you want to blast it out to everyone, you need to go up to your smart CRM area. And if you haven't done this, you need to then decide what you're going to email to. So what I would do is probably run a search and just determine who I want to send it to. But let's say I want to send it to this person and that person, right? And I'm, I'm going to um, send it in a mass mail now. So I'm going to go mass mail. And then I'm going to pick it out of my list here. So it should show up in the list. I'm not sure if you type a, start to type the search right here, Halloween, it'll pull up and it'll load up in here. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to send this to myself so you can see what it looks like. Uh, but at this point is where you would come down here and hit send. I'm not going to send this right now to these folks, but, um, so let me close that. I could just go and find a person in the system. Let me actually see if I'm in here. This is the problem sometimes when you're sending stuff. I ran it and sent it to myself out of KV core. And this is the risk we run. Um, my email ended up in the spam folder. <laughs> so just heads up uh, that there are very many reasons why that would happen. Um, and unfortunately, you just don't always know what the reason is. It could have something to do with the video. Um, it could be that this is a new account that I added to my system and it didn't necessarily like it. But anyway, I'm going to report it as not spam. And we're going to go back in and now go get into the inbox and want and look at the video. Okay. So let me get me out of the way. Now, when the video showed up, this is how it looks when it came in. Now, if you want it to be wider, you do not have to stick it in the middle of three boxes, but I wanted to keep it right inside of here. Now, keep in mind when I'm clicking on this, it's just the thumbnail. So when I click on it, it's actually going to take me to YouTube. So this is the only issue with doing it this way out of the system. It's taking me straight to YouTube to watch the video. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, I'm going to show you an alternative way. And that's going to be by embedding it into a landing page right here inside of KV Core. And that way they won't go to YouTube. So it's not hard to do. And I'll show you how to do it right inside of our software. 
Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell for upcoming free videos.